Hello once again and welcome to the Waters and Stanton video channel. My name is Peter Waters and my call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Julia Victor. I was sent a little portable antenna which I thought I'd give a, a, a test because, uh, well, it's cost effective. It's only £49. It covers uh, nine bands, 80 metres through to six metres. At least that's what they claim. And I thought I'd give it a try because I do like messing about with antennas and... Uh, there's so much portable gear around at the moment that uh, it's an ideal opportunity to um, to try it out. And so I actually tried it uh, uh, for a couple of QSOs with uh, the new uh, Yaesu FTX1 field, just running six watts. As I say, I was I was quite impressed with it. Anyway, let me show you the results I got from the test that I made. In this video, we're going to look at the Moonraker SPX100. It's a portable antenna measuring approximately 150 centimeters in length when fully extended. It covers nine HF bands from 80 meters through to six meters and is rated at 100 watts. The base of the antenna is fitted with a 3 8 inch thread and adapters are supplied to convert it to PL259 or BNC including a right angle adapter for PL259. A telescopic whip is provided to screw onto the top of the coil and this brings it to resonance and also enables fine tuning. If for your installation you need to convert the 3 8 inch thread at the base to PL259 or BNC then you screw the necessary adapter on. To change bands there's a banana plug and a lead arrangement whereby you short progressively the coil to go higher in frequency. I set that up on a table in my conservatory that had a 3 meter earth lead coming from the IC705 and a clamp there to hold the antenna vertically. That was a pretty crude setup and I didn't expect anything wonderful but anyway running 5 watts with effectively an indoor antenna um, which is just what one and a half meters tall. I put out a CQ on 20 meters and then looked at the reverse beacon network to see if I was going anywhere at all. Well, I got a reply from Finland, just one report from Finland. The band conditions are pretty awful actually, but bearing in mind, very low power, indoor antenna, it was encouraging. So I thought I'd try it in my uh, camper van and uh, see how well it worked, put it on the back of the uh, um, door, the rear door, and see how it worked. And uh, this is the results I got. I charged up the FTX uh, field overnight, and of course it's got a large battery, so I had plenty of power to uh, mess around with. First thing I needed to do was to check the VSWR using my zoom analyzer on um, a number of bands. Well, first of all, 40 meters, and I was very impressed with that. Very impressed indeed. 80 meters could have been a letdown, but no, that was very good as well. 20 meters didn't disappoint, down to 1.2 to 1. Likewise, 15 meters, 1.2 to 1. And 10 meters was equally good. I didn't um, put the walk bands in there, but uh, the walk bands were very similar to what you've just seen on the screen, as was 6 meters. Here's the FTX field installed on a table in my van. Uh, ready for some CW in order to check uh, again, once again, reverse beacon with this antenna and running 6 watts. So let me show you the return I got. Well, there we are. That's the result of just one CQ on pretty mediocre band. I was uh, quite impressed with that. And don't forget, the antenna is 1.5 metres tall and the power output was 6 watts. Well, there we are. That's the uh, Moonraker SPX100 portable antenna. I was quite impressed with that, with actually. And um, I think when I last looked, it was £49. So 
it's not an expensive antenna to play around with. Now, although I've put it on the vehicle, I wouldn't recommend you go mobile with it. Um, it's really intended for portal work, but a lot of people operate uh, from their car, put in an area on the car, so that's ideal. Uh, otherwise, you can put it on a, a, any convenient mount, or you can even mount it on the back of one of your uh, transceivers because you've got a right angle adapter and so forth. And it's, you've got adapters for BNC, um, and of course, it's got a 3 8 ba inch basic thread, and uh, also you can convert it to PL259. So, quite a, quite a, a universal little antenna. I you know, enjoyed messing about with it. I was really surprised with the VSWRs I got, quite amazing. And, um, oh, by the way, the Yesu FTX, uh, I'll be covering that in a few videos, uh, giving some details on that. Um, it's a lovely little transceiver and uh, well worth the wait, I think. Anyway, we'll cover that in a separate video. In the meantime, thanks for your support on this channel. It's much appreciated. You take care, enjoy your ham radio. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.